this is the ultimate prompt to unlock 100% of ChatGPT5's power. This original post is coming from our prompt engineering, and it's from user Michael underscore 333. So thank you for this. People are liking this prompt so much that MSN actually wrote an article about it as well. Let's first go through the prompt. I'm going to show you how to use this prompt in ChatGPT. And then we're going to test it both by seeing the output when we use this prompt versus when we don't. Michael underscore 333 says that he's been experimenting with different prompts to get ChatGPT5 to perform at its absolute best. And this one consistently gives him the most powerful, detailed, and practical responses across almost any topic. So that's study, work, coding, health, and productivity. The prompt is going to be in the description below this video so that you can easily just copy and paste it within ChatGPT. From now on, act as my expert assistant with access to all of your reasoning and knowledge. Always provide, number one, a clear, direct answer to my request. Number two, a step-by-step -step explanation of how you got there. Number three, alternative perspectives or solutions I might not have thought of. Four, a practical summary or action plan I can apply immediately. Never give vague answers. If the question is broad, break it into parts. If I ask for help, act like a professional in that domain, a teacher, coach, engineer, doctor, etc., and push your reasoning to 100% of your capacity. Initially, the hunch I'm getting from this is they're trying to make ChatGPT5 sound more like O3. However, O3 was not always clear and direct. It does usually give a step-by-step -step explanation of how it got there. At the end, it usually provides alternative perspectives. And it also includes a little action plan. So I'm going to copy this prompt. Here we are in ChatGPT. Now there's two ways to use this prompt. You can paste it in at the start of every conversation. To me, that's a little annoying. So the other option is to click on your profile on the bottom left corner, go customize chat GPT. You're going to want to enable this for all new chats. And I think the best place to paste this prompt is in what traits should chat GPT have. So I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to clean this up a bit. I'm going to add one, two, three, four. Let's remove the spaces between the numbered points. And then I'm going to click save. Now, every time I use ChatGPT, it's going to automatically take those custom instructions and interject them before your prompt here. It keeps things a lot cleaner, a lot faster, a lot quicker. You don't have to keep copying and pasting this prompt into each conversation. So if you do like the responses that you get from ChatGPT with this new prompt, I'd recommend putting it in the custom instructions so that it's always available to you. I'm going to quickly remove this, disable for new chats, because I first want to test with the basic default vanilla chat GPT-5. And for this test, we're going to go to auto. This is what most of you are going to have available with the free version of chat GPT. I'm currently on the plus plan. So I also get thinking, which means it thinks for longer before its response. For our test, I'm going to prompt it something fitness related. All right, I'm 5'11 and 175 pounds. I want to be lean and muscular. What should my weekly workout plan be, my diet, and my recovery if I want to have that body type? Let's send it in. Remember, this is without the custom instructions, that new prompt. We'll go through it quickly. Got it. You're 5'11", 175 pounds, and you want to build a lean, muscular physique. Here's a structured plan broken down into training, nutrition, and recovery. It's a general blueprint. You can adjust based on progress, preference, and experience level. So here's the training, the weekly workout plan. Wants to do five days on and two rest days. Day one is upper push. Day two is lower body. Seems like five exercises per workout. Day three is pull. Day four is mobility, yoga, stretching, or light cardio. Day five is a push variation. And day six is pull plus lower. And then the last day is rest or conditioning. For the nutrition, they say one gram per pound of protein, so roughly 175 grams per day. For carbs, two to two and a half grams per pound, and fats, 0 0.3 to 0 0.4 grams per pound. It's giving me some food options, some meal examples, like four eggs, oats with berries, and black coffee for breakfast. Wants me to sleep seven to nine hours, 
hydration three liters per day. And then if you follow this within three to six months, you should see noticeable improvements in muscle definition and size while staying lean. And it ends with a question. Do you want me to make this into a day by day schedule with specific meals and workouts like a printable weekly plan or keep it as a flexible framework? Okay, we're going to keep this chat open. I'm going to open up a new one. We're going to enable this for the new chats again. This is our custom instruction taken from Reddit. Let's click save. I'm going to paste in the same initial prompt and see what it comes up with. Before we look at the response, let me quickly show you what I've been working on. This is your AIagent.com. It's a comprehensive business suite of AI agents for your online business or company. And in the back end is the best prompts for your AI agent with a lot of customization options. So you can get the best results every time. We have everything from auto blogging, Twitter bots, Reddit bots. Instagram posters, email support, AI voice agents, LinkedIn agents, newsletter agents, social listening tools, affiliate agents. There is something for everyone here. And if you're interested, I'm going to leave a link to a playlist. I have videos on this channel about every AI agent. They're very easy to set up, takes less than five minutes, and you can have an entire fleet of agents working for you so that you can focus on the more important things. I'd love for you to come check it out. Okay, this is the result that we got from the custom instruction. So it still starts with got it. It says, let's build you a full plan for training, diet, and recovery to get lean and muscular at 5'11 and 175 pounds. I'm noticing the introduction is a bit shorter. Weekly workout plan. The goal, maintain build muscle while reducing body fat. I'll give you a balanced four to five day split. All right. Option A, there's upper push, lower rest and recovery, upper pull, lower conditioning and rest seems similar, but it's also giving me another option, push, pull legs, upper, lower. And then that would work well if you like more frequent training and slightly shorter sessions. It's also ending with a key principle. This is new lift heavy compound movements in the six to eight rep range for strength and muscle. Then add accessory work in for 10 to 15 reps for hypertrophy. Then it goes on for the diet. It's telling me what I need for maintenance, how many calories. I don't remember the other response having that. So it's interesting. It's like it's thinking out before responding. And we're seeing that thought process. Because it says to lean out and get muscular, you need a slight deficit of 2,200 to 2,400 calories per day while keeping protein high. So that's roughly 200 less calories per day. Same thing, one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Carbs seem similar, fat seems similar. This time it's telling me a meal structure. Four to five meals per day spaced every three to four hours. Each meal should have a lean protein source like chicken, turkey, beef, eggs, whey, or fish. Carbs should be timed pre and post workout for energy and recovery. And then lots of vegetables, fiber, and water at least three liters per day. So that's the same for the water. And it's giving me another point. If fat loss stalls, drop 150 to 200 calories a day, mostly from carbs. Next, they talk about recovery. This is where most people fail. Make sure to sleep seven to nine hours for the growth hormone and muscle repair. Don't skip rest days. Have active recovery on the rest days. Stretching and mobility 10 to 15 minutes after lifting. And foam roll tight spots. And then some supplement suggestions. These are optional but not required. Whey protein for convenience, creatine, omega-3s, and then vitamin D. Here's the alternative perspectives. Remember, we wanted that in our custom instruction. If you want faster fat loss, add two to three weekly cardio sessions. If you prefer minimal training, three times per week full body workouts still work, but the progress will be slower. If you want more size than leanness, Increase your calories gradually instead of being in a deficit. I like that. It's giving me some other ideas, maybe something I haven't thought of, especially this last sentence. If I want more size than leanness, maybe don't reduce the calories. I like this. Then it's giving me a practical action plan this week. Pick your split, either a four or five day. All right. Step two, meal prep. Cook all of your lean proteins, rice and potatoes and veggies in bulk. I think that's a good idea. Step three. Track my calories and macros for at least two weeks. You can use apps like MyFitnessPal or Chronometer. Lift heavy, so progressively overload. Aim to add reps or weight weekly. 
Number five is sleep eight hours and hydrate daily. And number six, reassess in four weeks. If there's been no fat loss, reduce the carbs. Or if strength is stalling, eat more. And it's funny, it also ends the same way as GPT-5 without the custom instruction. Would you like me to build you a day-by-day sample plan so that you can follow it without thinking? Here are the two responses side-by-side. On the left is the default chat GPT-5. And on the right is the response with the custom instruction, the one that's supposed to supercharge your GPT-5. Which one do you like better? Please write it in the comments below. You know, I actually do like the custom instruction one a bit better. I'm going to do a quick character count. I wonder if it's less characters. It does seem like it packed in way more information in the response. Let's test that quickly. The default response is 529 words and the supercharged one is 595. So it is actually able to squeeze out a little bit more words. The major thing I'm noticing is in the default response, it does answer my question. In the supercharged GPT-5, we get the key principles after each point, and we also get those extra ones, alternative perspectives and a practical action plan. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Are you going to use this for all of your newest chats? And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.